Open up that cow shed. Now, next on the agenda... All right, don't say... If you're going to clap, clap. Don't be giving me this. I can't be bothered with it. That'll do. Thank you very much. Now, my first guest woke up a generation of spotty kids with Tiz Was, yes. He's given away more than £40 million as the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Will you please welcome the one and only Mr Chris Tarrant. <laughs> They're, they're all the like leftovers this. from Donny the other day. They're still here. <laughs> oh, they're all hanging around the Donny fans. Screaming. Scream. How are you? Are they always like this? Always. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Do you know what, Chris? I've aged. Visibly. Well, you have. And, uh, no, 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 I've been I, watching. No, I've been watching no. the series, and my wife came and said, God, he's aged. <laughs> yes, she did. Lot. Well. I come out of it like I'm in a bubble. I'm going, no, no, I can't. Look, look at me. Look, look at this. Look, but it's time I was a cup of tea. I can't do it. Congratulations again. What have I done day. now? Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, you haven't you. done anything. You were on Millionaire, and you were, without exception, out of over 400 contestants, you were, by miles, the most nervous, nervous wimp we've ever had. <laughs> waiting in the wind. I'm sorry. Now. And I don't mean that unkindly, but it has to be said, you were a total, total wimp. Oh, Chris, oh, Chris, why do I need to do this? Oh, please, please ask me some easy questions, Chris, oh, please. In you my defence. In the afternoon. When we were doing rehearsal, I don't want to listen to this. What are we going through this for? I know this show. No need to tell me this at night time, an hour later. Ah! Do you know what? Say you knew thing. nothing. I lost the plot. Well, you never had the plot. I, <laughs> Leslie Gallant said to you me. You kept she calling said, me Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Gallant, she said, What's up with you? What's up with you? Get yourself together. Slap, slap, slap. I said, I can't. Because when you're at home, we all sit in the couch and yeah. we all go, oh, that, that's a doddle, a doddle. I said, I'll go I on know. that. And of course, we did the rehearsals and said, Chris, uh, I know this show inside exactly. out, please. I'll just go in and be a doddle. I, I sat in that seat. Of course, this <laughs> it one. Was funny. Now, hang on a minute. Oh, this sorry. one is like. Show, I you're like something out of the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> the thing is, you never expect the Spanish Inquisition. No one! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he does? He says to you, are you sure about that, Paul? And I'm positive. Well, I think I am. And I go, yeah. He goes, oh, well, yeah, mm, no. I don't go, You uh, do, uh, you go, uh, no. Uh, are you uh, sure? And then I you go... stroke your chin and you go, are you sure yeah. about this? Do you enjoy tormenting innocent people? <laughs> Since when have you qualified as an innocent person? <laughs> 30 years ago, I was, when I left yeah. Birkenhead. <laughs> We've got a clip of last Saturday's show. He is a ah, happy he person. was a great bloke. Uh, oh, of course he was. No, but he was, a nice, he was a very nice man and he wasn't nervous. Oh, and I'm not very He nice. wasn't a wimp waiting in I was room. a man of nerves. He was a man. Oh, was he now? I've got tattoos all over <laughs> no, me. I'll haven't. show you them later. No, thank you. I can get them done. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's have a look at this clip and show Chris torturing some poor contestants. I did not. You did. He was a very <laughs> nice man. <laughs> it Come must on. be Vivaldi. He wrote the four seasons. That's an old piece. Mozart was definitely born in the mid 70s. He was born in the late 70s. Wagner was just miles later. It's Vivaldi. Put me out of my misery, do it. Final answer. Yep. You just won 125,000 pounds! <laughs> Woo hoo! A great bloke. He was a great bloke. He didn't stand in the wings like a milksop whimpering like this. I didn't he stand didn't in the wings. He didn't need an opera singer to help him through to £32,000. Oh. What know was what she called is? your mate? Leslie Garrett? Yes. She was brilliant, cos she said in moments of crisis, you'd ask her a question, she'd go, hang on a second, oh! <laughs> It made me worse, cos I, I was sort of sat there in the heat, and, like, you going... <laughs> <laughs> and every now and then Leslie Garrett would go, Oh, but you've just done to me here. I nearly fell off my stool. <laughs> and then you've got all these flashing lights and... Mm, but it and... was very good. Between the two of you, you accumulated £32,000. She accumulated £31,500. Yeah. <laughs> and I chipped in the rest. Yeah, thank you. And I no, you were very good, Paul. No, do you know what? I'll be in honest, wimpy Chris. way. It was... It's, I, I have worked the Vauxhall Tavern at one o'clock in the morning. Yes. <laughs> see? Yes, you see? And they're all... They're Where... all here, hoping for their money back. Uh, yes. <laughs> Where they eat their young <laughs> life, and I have, I'll admit it, I have never been so scared oh. on a show. The tension, and also because it's not your money, exactly. you're losing for charity. The Definitely. sweat was running down my back. It was very unpleasant for everybody concerned. It, it was good, though. It, it was good fun. Yeah, well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. 
And I see America's doing it now, and they're offering They're billions. doing... Well, they've done it before, but they, they were doing... A typical America, they did it, like, seven nights a week and summer repeats. It was never off the screen. They took it off for about two years. Um, and they're now coming back doing, hey, it's super-duper millionaire, mm. and they're giving away £10 million. Pounds. Or well, $10 million, whatever. I'd drop Not dead bad. If yeah, I well, you would. There. You that, would. That, but me. they wouldn't... The American producers wouldn't have a wimp like you from Birkin. <laughs> no, don't! I'm being realistic. Yes. No, I'm being realistic. You saw him at the Vauxhall Tavern, for goodness sake. How Come yes. on. The doyen of the Vauxhall Tavern who terrorised South London's Barbary Coast. Yes. Look at them. Well, I tell you Look what. Look at them. Praise out of their brains on some <laughs> There's a lot more than that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I think, why don't we offer all these shoes, these billions instead of the million? Like the because it's all comparative. A million pounds is a huge amount of money. That guy the other uh, Saturday night, a top bloke, and there was a wonderful moment. He was quite mad, and there was a wonderful moment where I said to him, why are you grinning now? And he said, I'm about to play for £16,000. I've still got all my lifelines intact. I know the answer, which would make you grin. And he said, but why I'm grinning really? He had this huge grin in his face. He said, because two years ago, my take-home pay was £8,000. That's fantastic. The guy went home with a quarter of a million. I'm That's on fantastic. that for this. Well, uh, like you know, a month. <laughs> well, if you, if you make the month, you know, if you lost it. <laughs> oh! Oh, don't start again. <laughs> Leftover from Donny from last week. <laughs> Look at them. You leave my punters alone and my Donny alone or not. Do you not become a Donny? They haven't been home! Yeah. Any them. <laughs> They haven't been home since September. Look do at you know, them. Do you know what I pity? These poor polar bears you've just done a documentary that about. That was fantastic. How oh, 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 you've got the nerve to go some near some little old fluffy little sitting on an iceberg stuck they're in a mint. Yes, they're, yes. they're not little fluffy. They are something like 1,500 pounds. They're enormous creatures. Would kill you like that. How did you get on with them? Well, I got on fine. I just kept my distance. They were fantastic. There was one moment when a huge, fully grown male polar bear sort of had a look at us on this rock and thought, and we were in this little tiny boat, and it thought, shall I go across there and eat those horrible little white people or not? <laughs> and it thought, no, I won't, I'll go for a swim. And it just did this swim, and it was like... Huh. And we ended up about 20 yards from this polar bear, and it was, it was one of the greatest moments of my life. It was fantastic. When's this going on? I don't know, whenever. I didn't think you were an animal lover. I am a great animal lover, apart from horrible, ratty little dogs. <laughs> Are you...? little dog on the show, surely. Get the oh, rope. God! There'll be a child coming on next! Oh, God! Get me a custard pie, Pedro! <laughs> How dare you kick off about my Don't show? Don't encourage these people! He's kicking off about my show, calling me a wimp, saying I've got a ratty little dog. Yes. This man started at half past six in the morning chugging custard pies! Yes! Please. It was all right. There were children who had to be made to cry. <laughs> That's part of my job. It was my children. You know what we've done to be so nice to you? What have you done? Thank we've... you for being so nice. I hadn't noticed that. We've bit. done a tribute. Well, I haven't. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. We've got some horrible kids from some school having yeah. a custard pie fight as a tribute to Tiswas. Oh, Wait, can we have this video to cheer this miserable old up? <laughs> <laughs> can we have it? Are we having the video? No? It's a shambles, isn't it? It is. This Ooh. is it, Chris. <laughs> Here You're responsible for that. I am responsible for that. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Tarrant. Thank Come you on, very let's much. Boo! <laughs> Thank you. Now you're going to love this. What? It's not a horrible ratty little dog. It's not a cat. No. It's not a cat. It's a small child. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, he's age seven, and he's probably the youngest train expert in the country. He's definitely a future ministry, a Minister of Transport and the Making. Will you please welcome Michael Hendry? Bye. Michael! <laughs> How are you going, kids? Now, Michael, Good boy. this is a nasty old man. <laughs> Keep away from him. You sit here, sunshine, down, by me, and if you have any trouble... Sit in the answer. I'll sit over here, thank you. I'll finish with you now. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, Michael, right? tell me. Why do you like trains so much? Because it runs like a caterpillar and it's got... and the opposite from... from loads of caterpillar legs, 
It's got loads of wheels. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Good answer, Michael. What's your favourite journey, Michael? Waterloo to Woking. <laughs> <laughs> now then, I've got, we've got some routes for you here. We're going to yeah. test you. Can we test yeah. you on some routes? Yes. OK, then. So, Guildford to Waterloo. What's the stops? Can you remember? Yes, London Road, Guildford, Clandon, Horsley, Effingham Junction, <laughs> Bookham, <laughs> Leatherhead, Ashted, Epsom, Ewell <laughs> West, <laughs> Stoneley, Worcester Park, Mottsper Park, <laughs> Rains Park, <laughs> w Wimbledon, <laughs> Earlsfield, Club of Junction, Vauxhall and London Water. Yeah, yes! Yes! <laughs> Give him a big round of applause. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, since you're so great on trains, I've got you a present. You probably laugh at me. We've got you a bullet train. Yeah. We've got you <laughs> the Orient Express. <laughs> and to top it, we're sending you on the Orient Express. <laughs> your mum and your sister. Do you fancy that? Yeah. I think this kid's going to be Prime Minister, do you, Mr Talents? I think it'd be yes. a great improvement. <laughs> no, I don't think that. Are we I'm going into a break again. now? Yes? OK, we shall see you after the break. Come back. See you after the break. Ta-da! <laughs>